welcome back to Blindly Honestly. And if you are new, hi, hello, and welcome. And I hope you enjoyed today's video as well. And before I get started, let me ask you to do me a huge favor. Please hit that like button and subscribe and share this video with your friends so that they can enjoy it as well. So it's been a while, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm always saying that in my videos lately. I'm just, you know, life has a funny way of getting in the way when I want to do things that I want to do. Um, school's been crazy. Just had midterms. I passed. I got an A in my midterms. So, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that out. So yeah, uh, school has just been taking up all my time and like when I get home from school I'm so exhausted I don't even want to sit and film. I'm sorry. I have so many things that I want to film. Like I just got the new Anastasia summer collection, the new pigments, the shimmering body oil, the new lipsticks. I am just oh, blessed. So I'm planning on doing a video impressions with all that <sighs> yeah I have had yeah so I, I have plans and I have videos in my head that I want to be filming it's just a matter of finding time <laughs> so anyways today's video is the last video to finally wrap up the long long going Harry Potter series I have done Gryffindor Ravenclaw Hufflepuff and now I'm finally down to Slytherin. I don't know why I've waited so long to do this look. Um, you know, sometimes you just gotta go with the flow and whenever it happens, it happens. So for this look, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette, as well as the BH Cosmetics Back to Brazil. And then I'm thinking about popping into one of these new pigments from the Summer Collection because they are just so, so beautiful not to use. So yeah, we will see what we end up doing. <laughs> so I'm gonna stop talking and jump into the tutorial. I have some tape here just so I can make sure the blend stays nice and cut and straight. And I'm going to take my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is shade Light 10. And I'm going to use this to prime my eyes. I'm going to take this A13 brush from Anastasia Ripley Hills. This is a kind of like a flat um, shadow brush. And I'm going to jump into the subculture palette and we're going to pick up this very, very pretty dark green. Oops, forgot all about the brush. We're going to pick up this really pretty dark green and this is the shade Axis. Axis? Axis. The Axis. <laughs> and I'm going to pick that up with the definer brush and we're just going to plop this into the inner crease and I'm going to take this blending brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is A25 and I'm just going to start blending that green up and I'm also going to blend it up and out so the more I blend the shade, the more it looks almost blue. So the more I blend this out, the more it starts to look almost blue. And that's really not what I want. I need green for this look. So I'm going to pick up that same brush and I'm going to take Untamed, which is another green in this palette and I'm going to blend that into it to see maybe it'll darken up that green. That is more of what I wanted. So now we're going to go back to blending. And just to kind of help the shade blend out, I'm going to jump into the Back to Brazil palette and I'm picking up this kind of foresty green. It's the third green in the three the green. It's the third green shadow in the green row. And I'm gonna jump into that green shade and we're gonna blend this out. So that's gonna darken up the green a little bit and then it's also gonna bring the green shade up more. And then we're just gonna sit here and blend for a little bit because the green in the subculture palette does take quite a bit to blend out. Oh, 
Okay, I'm going to switch to a more denser blending brush. This is A5 from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just gonna go in there and try to blend out Access, Access and Untamed a little bit more. Just cause I'm kind of worried that it's not blending up to the other green. Not blending out how I want it to. So I'm going to take this dark green from the Back to Brazil palette and I'm gonna blend that in between the two greens I already put. I'm gonna take this A14 brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills, jump into that darker green and just blend it right here to kind of merge the two shades. Now we're gonna blend this a bit. So now I'm taking the very, very small blending brush, and this is E45 from Sigma, and I'm just going to take that and blend the shadow down more into my inner corner and just merge a bit more of the green together. Just to get a nice even blend, I am jumping back in with the R37, and I'm just going to sit here and blend this into the upper um, top of the lid just so that the, there is a nice contrast and a nice fade out. And if you guys haven't learned by now already, I am horrible at describing what I'm doing, so. I'm going to jump into, this is from my PR package from APH, and these are their individual single shadows. I'm going to jump into this really pretty um, aquamarine color, and the shade is aqua. But I'm only putting a little bit on my brush. And this is going to get blended into the green up here. Just to lighten that a little tiny bit. It is probably not even going to be noticeable. But I will know it's there. So like on camera, you guys probably can't see that I put it there, but I know it's there, so. Okay, now I'm going to take this big old fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go through and soften this up a little bit. Like this is my favorite thing to do with looks because it makes it look so much softer. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this eye. Okay, now that is all blended out, we're gonna go ahead and cut our crease and for that I am using the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and this is the shade Illustrate. I'm gonna take this flat concealer brush, this is 18 by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the crease. And I don't put the applicator directly on my eye because I don't wanna mix the colors into the product, so I'm just gonna get a little bit on the brush and do it that way. All right, so now I'm going to jump into the Wizardry and Witchcraft palette from Storybook Cosmetics. I've tried my hardest to use this palette in every single look for the series and I think I messed up last look. So I don't think I used this in my Hufflepuff look. So I'm going to jump into this really, really pretty shimmery silver and this is the shade Jinx. And this is gonna go all over the lid. So for that, I'm taking this a4 brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills, it's just a flat, I think it's a concealer brush, but it works really, really good if you want to do a full eyelid. This eye ended up really, really messy for some reason. I'm not sure if I just didn't do a good job cutting it out or what, but it is just very, very messy. Okay, and just because I want to have a little bit of fun with this look, I am going to jump into the pigments from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Summer Collection, and we are going to go into this one right here, and this is a very, very pretty pure white shimmery shimmer. And can we just talk a minute about these loose pigments? They have this little pop cap lid so that if you take your lid off, you're not gonna end up losing any pigment if you accidentally knock it over, like the klutz that I am. So you can just pop the lid closed and you won't lose anything. That's amazing. Like why has a brand never done this before? I'm taking that same A4 brush, getting a little bit of the icy on there, and I'm just gonna touch that on top of the 
jeans. That is so pretty. So I do have some finishing touches, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation and then I will come right back and finish off this look with you guys. Okay, so now that I went ahead and did my whole face, I went ahead and put on some lipstick. I'm gonna go and do a little bit of a winged liner and I ended up having to bring the silver up to my little bit a little bit because for some reason it transferred up. Um, my eyelids have not been very cooperative lately. Like, lately I can barely get through four hours in school before my eyelids are all messed up. They've just been super, super oily this summer. I don't know why. So I'm going to go ahead and do a winged liner to finish off this look. And I'm going to do a green wing. And I'm going to be using the ColourPop Liquid Liner. And this is the shade LA, which is a nice, pretty, pretty green. So I'm going to go ahead and do a wing. I'm not even mad how that came out. I went bolder than I was hoping originally, but it looks really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and do this eye, and I'm going to also put on my lashes. The lashes I'm going to put on are Fabby Lash, and these are from Wispy Winks. If you guys have not heard about them, please check them out. They are an amazing indie brand, and I love their lashes. Their lashes. So, I'm a so I'll be right back, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the under eye for you guys. Okay, so lashes on, liner finish. I okay, so the ColourPop liner is really, really hit and miss for me. So some of them I love, like the black is my go-to, unless like I said, I'm having a very oily day on my eyelids because if I go like that, it like smudges off completely. It's weird. Um, the pink, barely any pigment. The red is super pigmented. The green is pretty, pretty dang pigmented. I mean, yeah, my lash did not apply nicely. Um, but yeah, the green is very, very pigmented. So I mean, and in the yellow, I tried using the yellow. The yellow does not do a good job. They tried. I mean, not very many brands have that many colored liner. So props to ColourPop for trying. But like if I were a professional makeup artist, I would not use this, these liners on a client. That's just, I wouldn't. So anyways, <laughs> back to this look. So we're gonna do under our eyes. So we're gonna pick up the subculture palette again. And I am taking Untamed, which is that really pretty green. Using this R39, I'm going to buff this out underneath my eyes. And then just because I'm not happy with how that looks. But am I ever happy? No, I'm not. I'm going to take the step one for the money brush from the vintage and I'm going to jump back into the take me back to Brazil palette from BH cosmetics and I'm going to take that same green I used on my lid right here and we're going to blend this in okay and then for my inner eye I'm going to take the icy from Anastasia Beverly Hills again and we are just going to pop this into the inner corner. And for that, I'm just going to use this flat shadow brush from ColourPop. That just shines so, so beautifully. So now we need a little bit of eyeliner. And for that, I'm taking the Dark Side Waterproof Gel Liner from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just going to align the top and a little bit of the bottom, not all the way up. So this is the finished look. I am in love with how this looks. Screams Slytherin, oh my God. Like I'm really frustrated that it transferred up when I cut my crease, but you know, that's just how life is sometimes. Things don't always work out how you want them to be. Things don't always work out how you want them to, and you just gotta accept it and move on and keep smiling. <laughs> Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please hit that like button, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe. If you want to join the hashtag Butterfly Squad, make sure you ring my bell, because that way you'll be notified every time I upload, which if you haven't noticed, is very, very sporadic and unplanned. <laughs> So if you guys have any questions or comments, comment them down below. Other than that, I will see you in the next video. Love you. Bye. Thinking